So you remember that scene in the in the Wizard of Oz when Dorothy and the Tin Man and the Scarecrow and <clears throat> Cowardly Lion they walk up to the they finally get to Oz and Toto Toto woof, they finally get to Oz and they they meet they see the wood they're they're inside seeing the wizard they're off to see the wizard right and they get inside and they see the wizard the fucking wizard the fucking wizard a little dog Toto pulls away the curtain. And all you guys is this big fucking stupid guy working a bunch of machines, a coward. I pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. There's a uh, dust up on, on social media right now about some sort of, I think it was Alex Jones starting a rumor that the left is going to start a civil war. So that's my response to it. In the title, 99.9% .9 of the people go against 0.01% of the people, right? The top one-tenth of one percent, right? In simple numbers, right? If 325 million people, <laughs> right, go against maybe a couple hundred thousand people, who wins? Right? That's the Civil War. The Civil War is not... It's not race, it's not ethnicity, it's not national origin, it's not height, weight, shoe size. It's, it's income and wealth inequality. It's, it's corporations that have seized power of our uh, political system. I mean, you can only say it so many times, but if people want a civil war, that's where you look. Don't look to fight amongst each other. That's precisely what the wizard wants you to do. Right? And who is the wizard? The wizard is is for the most part CNN and MSNBC those are the see the wizard is not is is nothing in himself right the wizard is really nothing in himself the wizard is a a projection of the power right that's all it is CNN MSNBC that's the that's the wizard right now so what I'm saying is and I've always said is that Revolution in this country does not require much. In fact, it, you can do it in an hour. Right? Conti's formula for revolution, one hour, <laughs> one hour fix it, right? You have to collapse, you, you collapse the system fairly easily. If everybody runs to the bank and takes their money out, boom, you freeze the banks. And when you do that, you're, see the, the, the oligarchy depends on banking and, and the manipulation of money and transfers of money and control of money. When they, when the banks freeze, yeah, you'll, for, for, for a moment, you'll freeze out your asset in those banks. But the oligarchy drops to its knees because they're, that, that, all that crazy invisible wealth gets eviscerated, right? So you, you, you run on the banks, 5% of the money, once 5% of the money leaves the banks, the banks freeze, right? Take your money out of Wall Street, that, then the markets freeze because the 15, 20 trillion dollars that they're playing with is really fake. There's only a trillion or so in there, right? So when you pull your money out, they're stuck, they're stiffed, right? So that's how you freeze an oligarchy. Military, military people, defect. Just walk away, Put your, lay your arms down. You are the 99%, you walk away, right? you walk away. Right? We're not fighting each other. We're fighting, we're fighting a very corrupt system. Know thy enemy. Know thy enemy. So in a war of 99.9%, and we don't wanna, we don't wanna harm. We're not, we're, not, we're not here to harm you, rich people and corporate executives and uh, quote, unquote, elected officials. We don't wanna harm you. We just want you to go away. Go away and give, give us back our country. That's the message. Give us back our country. My name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, reporter here on YouTube, and after the collapse, candidate for the United States Senate. Peace.